on the small island of Roti in eastern Indonesia, the origins of all important activities require telling. In this film, we have set out to link images of life on the island with the words of their Rotanese origin, and thus convey a sense of the poetry that underlies ordinary, everyday activities. According to the ancestors, all wealth came from the sea. The first seeds of rice and millet, the first water buffalo, and even the first fire for cooking. But of these gifts from the sea, the foremost was the lontar palm, the tree that has given the Rotanese their distinctive way of life. <laughs> Two Rotanese narrate this film, the one a poet and storyteller, the other a clan headman and local leader. Each presents a view of life on the island and speaks of the importance of the Lontar palm. The clan headman, Mias Kiuk, is a practical man, full of wit and humor. His speech is direct, but he enjoys exaggerating to emphasize his views. The poet, Petrus Malesi, is a ritual specialist. He draws on a diverse oral tradition, sometimes speaking in the paired language of poetry, sometimes in ordinary dialect. The English narration is a translation of Malesi's words interspersed with quotations from Rotanese myths, legends, and ritual. Malaysi, the poet, begins. At the celebration of origins, at the festival of completion, the ancestors would lift the sword of the sun and raise the spear of the moon. They would call upon the sun and address the moon, saying, Come, descend. Bring sufficient moist dew and ample dampening water to soak the earth and pour down upon the world to give the abundance of the sea and the juice of the lontar palm. A storm arose in the ocean's depths. A great convulsion swept the deep sea. And the sea's fruit, the fruit of the female lontar, came drifting and bobbing until it reached dry land, our land. It sprouted and grew all over the island and gave us our way of life. <laughs> 